Today what we're going to be doing is making bonsai fertilizer. We have four basic ingredients here. Uh, bonsai fertilizers usually use more ingredients than this, but that's pretty much all I could find. And we'll just make a basic fertilizer. And if we ever need anything, we'll just get it in the future. I guess today we'll just be making fertilizer cakes and in another video I'll show you various different fertilizers you can add and how to fertilize. So four ingredients we have, uh, all-purpose plant food, uh, it's 20-20-20, bone meal, blood meal back here, and some fish fertilizer, also called fish emulsion. I pre-dissolved the all-purpose plant food and I should mention those three numbers on the back they're the uh, parts nitrogen, phosphorus, and potassium. I'm pretty sure that's what they are if I remember correctly. Um, we could add more ingredients uh, but for now this will be fine so we'll go ahead and make it. Alright, first thing we're going to do is add the bone meal. As with any other powdered substance, uh, try not to breathe it in. We're actually going to add equal parts of bone meal as well as blood meal. And I'm going to strive for 10 pounds of this stuff. So I'll get all the uh, powdered ingredients in here, then I'll come back when that's done. Alright, next ingredient that we're going to add is the uh, fish fertilizer. Uh, it's supposed to be about five ounces per five pounds. I guess this is almost ten. I'm not really sure, but then again, really doesn't matter. Oh yeah, this stuff's really starting to uh, smell delicious. Um, measurements aren't that incredibly important. That's uh, a little more than 10 ounces, but whatever. We'll go ahead and stir this up, and we'll come back. Alright, because this is a little bit dry, we're going to add some of that all-purpose, equal part fertilizer. Um, just enough to uh, dampen it a bit. We'll stir this up and I'll uh, come back when it comes to be the consistency that it should be. Alright, so we added a, just a little bit more uh, fish emulsion on top of our uh, mixture right here. We're going to mix that in and just uh, put the rest of our water-soluble fertilizer in here. Looks a little bit like chocolate cake or something, but uh, doesn't smell like it. Um, so we'll mix that up and uh, come back. So here's the uh, consistency we want. Uh, we got our toddler shovel here. Um, so kind of damp, and now what we need to do is scoop all this stuff out and into a uh, pan and we're going to get the entire bottom covered evenly and then we're going to let this dry out. It's nice if you have uh, aluminum pans instead of uh, ghetto makeshift uh, trays but uh, this will do fine and I'm just going to spread an even layer and uh, we'll come back when we're done. Okay, so there we have our two trays filled with the uh, fertilizer cake mixture. We'll let these dry out for about a week. Uh, halfway through we'll come in with a knife and actually cut these into cubes. The size isn't that important, maybe one inch by one inch. Again, uh, I fertilize by adding a little bit at the start and then I work my way up. That's better than adding a lot of fertilizer at one time. So the measurements uh, aren't really that important when we're applying it. Measurements are important when we're uh, actually making the mixture. Uh, we ended up with about uh, five pounds of blood meal, five pounds of bone meal. Uh, 
bone meal is very basic and this is acidic so the pH should have balanced out uh, we added the fish fertilizer and the uh, liquid uh, already dissolved all-purpose plant food uh, and that's kind of an all-purpose mix if I had uh, evergreen trees like pines or junipers which I do plan on getting they uh, have this in a uh, evergreen fertilizer uh, form I would have used that but for my purposes right now general all-purpose fertilizer cakes that's uh, what we got so there we go we're gonna let these dry out for about a week and that's how we make them.